else was fine beforehand. It was really good range. Hey everyone, Anna here. We are at the doctor's, just finished my EKG, which my pulse was fine beforehand. It was really good range, so it looks like that will be fine. Waiting for my doctor to come in and just take a quick look at it before we head out, and they'll fax it to my gastroparesis specialist at the Cleveland Clinic, and I have a call in to him about all the other shenanigans going on with my stomach and my GI system and hopefully we should hear back at some point in the near future. I'll keep you posted. which took a long time because it was just the wrong time of day and the traffic was bonkers and one of the roads was like stuck. So anyhow, there was a lot of shenanigans and I'm home like two hours later, an hour and a half, whatever. Anyway, I'm super tired. Before we left, I couldn't even keep my eyes open. I literally was laying there half asleep, like counting down. Okay, how many more minutes am I allowed to lay here? How many minutes? So, um, then I was going to come home and take a nap. And now I'm not sure. We'll see. haven't eaten anything really yet today. A little bit. A little bit of baby food um, and, my and my breakfast way earlier and it's five o'clock so still haven't heard anything from my doctor at the Cleveland Clinic so I'm not expecting anything until at least tomorrow. Meanwhile I suppose I shall just continue to eat as my stomach is hungry because I know that there's a reason that I'm hungry and I believe firstly that the propulsive is truly moving stuff through my stomach faster which is amazing and secondly that your brain tells you even if your stomach is full or has a lot of food in it your body still needs glucose. So that food has just been sitting in there and the glucose that was easily absorbable and digestible is not there anymore. So sometimes the hunger is just your brain's way of saying, I need glucose. Cause sometimes like I can forget if, you know, I can just easily ignore like a, you know, an a strange feeling in my stomach. I don't even know really what it feels like to have normal hunger pains or normal fullness. I don't remember. I really don't. So all that to say, I think I'm going to go downstairs and see if I can find anything or not. Maybe I'll just eat some pretzels. I don't I'm going to look at the weather because I do not, I'm really not hoping that it's going to be this rainy continuing, continuing every day this week. I've been coughing so much today because of, it must be the humidity. I've just been coughing so much. So, anyways, 
hopefully I don't cough my lungs out. I'll keep you posted on if that happens. I promise I'll let you know. Hey everybody. It's late. We're tired. Yeah. Emma's not really that tired. She's kind of <laughs> hyper. Baby. <laughs> what? Baby. <laughs> Baby. I just took a three hour nap. And I'm all discombobulated. Is my my leg bony? No. Because it feels ouch. But your breath smells like something. <laughs> gas X. <laughs> yeah. It's probably yeah, gas like X. an herb. Oh, that would have been prune juice. <laughs> my Miralax. I have had this sneeze in my nose for about... Oh, I think it's... <laughs> <laughs> that was a, a weird sneeze laugh. <laughs> what? I'm so <gasps> confused. I don't even know if I sneezed. It was like a... <gasps> and then I left. Um, <laughs> but I've had this sneeze in my nose for like 45 minutes. Oh, I'm gonna go crazy! It's worse than a burp because a burp, okay, like that's painful, like it needs to come out, but a sneeze is just like you can't even function. It's like in your eyes. You're like, ugh. Am I right or am I right? You're... She's embarrassed of me. <laughs> You're weird. That's what you are. No, that has been officially notated on like my birth certificate that and was, driver's license that was and passport. Before you even were born. Yeah, that's why it, it's on my birth certificate, because as soon as I was born, they're like, she's weird. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. My goodness gracious. We were just talking about Em's birthday. She 27 is... 27 days. 27 days, and she is turning 13. A baby girl. My baby girl. We're so big. I remember when you were born. You know, you go to like your these people at church or like old people, and you don't even know them, and like you, you, you they know you, and they like taught the nursery when you were in the nursery, and they're like, I changed your diaper. You were so cute, or you laughed, or you would always cry like this and this, and you're like, hey. yeah, I don't know you, and this is really creepy, but I did that to you, and you still know me. Is it creepy? <laughs> Your nails hurt. Sorry. I actually wasn't doing my nails. I was doing my... I don't know about that. Oh my goodness. Anyway, we are going to say goodnight. Goodbye and farewell. And what is that song? Goodbye, farewell. I'll see you in the morning. I don't know what the other phrase is of that. I made that up. But something, something, something. There you go. All right, so we are going to we are going to say goodbye. You need your hand. Let go. Put your hand down. <laughs> we are going to say goodbye. And we'll see you super soon. Bye.